So Owen Jones went on Sky News and uh, <clears throat> he ended up debating this guy, Hen Mazig, big Israel supporter, and said something that led to quite a backlash and a firestorm, made a point about Israel that this guy took offense to. Let's watch him. We'll break it down as we go here. That was Lord Sumption. Uh, Hen, listening to that, the reality is the UK doesn't export that many armaments to Israel. It's vastly dwarfed by America and, and Germany. But what is the reaction? to something, to an opinion like that, expressed by so many significant leading legal figures. I think they're talking about cutting off weapons to Israel. Again, the context of Britain, they don't send that much, but the debate is, sh should they stop cutting off the weapons to Israel? Being misled. I mean, we're talking about um, one of the conversations that we had even earlier about a genocide uh, is the claim that uh, somehow Israel is starving the po Palestinian population in Gaza, um, but it does allow trucks in, and it, this is not contestable. We all agree that there are trucks of humanitarian aid being given. 70% of them are blocked. I'm sorry, but like the Zionists just, they just have to turn to lies. That's what they do. Because they can't, if people know the truth, it's like, well, yeah, that's not acceptable. Into the Gaza Strip, Hamas is taking over those trucks, as everyone can, can agree, even Palestinians themselves in Gaza are reporting that. There are 30,000 Hamas fighters. There are 2.3 million people in Gaza. The idea that 30,000 can even theoretically, potentially, possibly take all of the food and the goods is preposterous. If you want to blame someone but for a genocide of starvation, it should be Hamas. Um, and, and instead of blaming Hamas for, for everything, I mean, for the fact that this war is even uh, still ongoing. <laughs> we're, talking about, we're talking about the question of banning arms sales to, right. to Israel um, rather than the, that sort of role of Hamas. I mean, it, within the Israeli government, what do you think is the reaction for that sort of rhetoric? Uh, it's insignificant. It's less than 1% of our arms. But at the end of the day, Israel has invested millions, billions of dollars in creating Iron Dome, in creating um, bomb shelters, in protecting its civilians. The, arm the U.S. gave Iron Dome to Israel. Why are you giving Israel the credit for it? Like, everything this guy says is wrong. ...are used today in Gaza are supposed to protect Israeli civilians. That's what they've been doing since October, se since October 6th. And also in the West Bank, if we're looking at uh, the military operation in the West Bank, it's all meant they fought 500 terrorist um, uh, operations in the last year alone. Uh, so the idea that there is uh, somehow, I mean, the, the, the weapon is being used for anything else but protecting Israeli civilians ah. uh, is completely ludicrous. I like, yeah, oh, in the West Bank, you know, they're just protecting uh, Israelis from terrorists. Really? How many, like, new illegal settlements have been created within the past couple of years? How about that? The West Bank is like the front lines of the psycho, ultra-Orthodox Zionist settlers stealing more land. And he's like, bro, it's defensive. Did you know that? It's defensive. I mean, uh, let's pick up what some of the things Hen has, has been saying, which is that, look, we can talk so much about what Israel is doing in Gaza, but ultimately Hamas uh, created this <laughs> war. <laughs> I swear to God, the Zionists and these like Western uh, media hosts, like you pull the drawstring and they say the same thing over and over and over. Bahamas, Bahamas. I don't know why I made the drawstring doll sound like a parrot, but there we go. I think if you start the clock on the 7th of October, that's absurd. Obviously, in 1948, the Palestinian people were driven from their homes three quarters of a million. The vast majority of the people in Gaza are the descendants of those 750,000 people who were driven from the homes. 15,000 of them slaughtered at the time, 1967, yet another act of ethnic cleansing, an illegal occupation, the longest belligerent okay, occupation. Let's, let's talk about what's well, happening here. Right, well, we haven't got time for well, that. Why, why, ask me the, why ask me the question? Yeah. Terms of <laughs> he asks him the question, he starts answering. He's like, bro, would you talk about now? Don't go into like the history and stuff, bro. How could knowing the history influence our opinions on this now? <laughs> uh, Alicia Kearns, the Conservative MP and chair of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee, in a leaked recording said that the government had received legal advice that Israel was in defiance of international humanitarian law. What that legally necessitates is Britain ending all arms sales, but also ending all cooperation and sharing intelligence. Now, you're right, Britain doesn't supply that many arms, but if it ends arms sales, that then puts huge pressure on Germany, which has decided to make the Palestinian people pay for the grievous crimes it committed by oh, attempting to exterminate on, the, uh, the Jewish people. Come on, have some distance. Um, and, and, and the second... And no, the second I won't point, let you... Well, the the yeah, man of the, the, the Holocaust will not be used okay. this way. How dare you? You're he not Jewish. Don't do that. <laughs> he said, how dare you? Don't do that. <laughs> All right, one more time. One more time. On Germany, which has decided to make the Palestinian people pay for the grievous crimes it committed by oh, attempting to exterminate on, the, uh, the Jewish people. Come on, have some distance. Um, and, and, and the second point... No, the I won't point, let you... Well, the yeah, the, and, and the, the, the other Holocaust will not be used okay. this way. How dare you? You're it not Jewish. Be used. Don't do that. It shouldn't really, be used. Really, don't do that. It this shouldn't be used to force the Palestinians. Even for you, it's a red line. It shouldn't be used to force the Palestinians. Let's be clear. You want... What are you saying, I think Hen believes... Let him talk. God damn it. The point that Owen was making, hey, if we cut off weapons to Israel, that puts pressure on Germany to do the same thing. And Germany has been fucking psycho lately. We've all seen it. If you have eyes, you see it. That they 
bend over backwards to be like, uh, Israel, bro, we love Israel, bro. They're the best, bro. We're on their side, bro. We never did anything wrong to the Jews, bro. <laughs> it's very like, it's like overcompensation to the max. Like, oh, did we try to exterminate the Jews actually not that long ago historically? Well, pff, now I'd, I'd be fine if, if the Jews want to kill other people. I'm with that. I'm okay. They could, they could do a genocide. They get one free on the house. Like, everybody sees that that's what Germany's doing. From their commentary to their actions, it's all like they have collective guilt. And they're like, all right, you know what? We're going to stand with them no matter what now. We're going to stand with Israel no matter what. And he's acting like that's so like, don't say that. You're not allowed to say that Germany has collective guilt and they've bent over backwards and humiliated themselves to accommodate Israel at every turn as a direct result of the fact that they did the Holocaust. Don't, don't bring that up. How dare you? It's like the most obvious point in the world, man. Rogan made it the other week. There was backlash. I've said it before. Others have said it before. It's like the, the whole idea of like generational trauma, right? We've seen this time and time again. The, the point Rogan made is like, yeah, well, the Jewish people were, had the absolute worst horrific atrocity of all time done against them. And then a number of European Jews went to Israel and now... History sort of repeats itself, and they're doing really fucked up shit to the Palestinians as well. That's not like a, a that's not like a, a controversial point. It seems relatively straightforward. It's like the generational trauma argument of like you have somebody who abuses a kid, and then in some instances, that kid will grow up to then also abuse kids. Like this is, you know, it's it's like things repeat it repeat themselves. And so he brings that up, and it's like, you know. You would think he spit on, on, on a Holocaust memorial or something. No. If anything, that more honors the memory to say, hey, never again actually means never again. All right, one more time. What that legally necessitates is Britain ending all arms sales, but also ending all cooperation and sharing intelligence. Now, you're right, Britain doesn't supply that many arms, but if it ends arms sales, that then puts huge pressure on Germany, which has decided to make the Palestinian people pay for the grievous crimes it committed by oh, attempting to exterminate on, the, uh, the Jewish people. Come on, have some distance. Um, and, 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 Please, and the second point... No, the second I won't point, let you... Well, the the, 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 the Holocaust will not be used okay. this way. How dare you? You're it not Jewish. Be used. Don't it do that. It shouldn't really. be used. How dare you? You're not Jewish. Don't do that. Anytime you have to resort to like, how dare you? I'm shocked and appalled. Like, you're not, you're not bringing your best. Don't do it. This it shouldn't be used to force the Palestinians. Even for you, it's a red line. Shouldn't be used to force the Palestinians. Let's be clear. You want, well, what are you saying, it's, 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 They don't let Owen talk. They don't let him talk because he's saying things that are true, but controversial to them. I think Hen, Hen believes that you are, that you are, Disparaging the memory of the Holocaust. Of course, because you just did. did. No, I didn't. You I said, said Germany is making. I said Germans pay yes. for the six. Yes. So, in order to not disparage the memory of the Holocaust, you have to do what Germany is doing. I sign off on anything Israel wants to do. That's how you you don't disparage the memory of the Holocaust. Uh, it's un unbelievable. It's flipped exactly backwards. It's flipped exactly back. Obviously, never again should mean never again for everybody always. And so you're really disparaging the memory of the Holocaust when you invoke it to try to deflect legit criticism for, from what Israel is doing today. Yes, the Holocaust? I did. Yes, I absolutely This is absolutely disgusting. I can't believe no, you. you, you <laughs> I stand by what I said because it's <laughs> absolutely disgusting and totally accurate. But it's disgusting. Um, are you saying that Germany is supporting Israel because of what happened? Yes, in the it believes it rather can than make... Yes. It, 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 believes, it believes Germany. Germany has decided it can make up for its obscene guilt by forcing somebody else to pay for the crimes that Germany committed. Correct. <laughs> wow. point. There's nothing offensive about it. It's of, very of course it's offensive. I'm telling no, you it's offensive. I'm Jewish in, terms of, in terms of, in terms of, in terms of, in terms of, I will not take it back. Course, no, I, I, because okay. you don't care about Jews. Because you, you don't care about You know what's interesting? This is how annoying corporate media is. Is like he's saying something that like on this show or whatever, breaking points, a lot of the shows you guys are familiar with and probably watch regularly. Somebody says that. It's like, okay, somebody could disagree with it. Right? And you could discuss it, but the idea that you go right, How dare you! I'm shocked, appalled, good sir, absolutely disgusting, I say, I declare. Like, the over-the-top fake performative outrage. Nobody's ever gonna take you seriously or agree with you if your whole thing is just like, I'm going to do the fake performative outrage. So why are you doing that? It's not helping your case. But, you know, they try to police 
the Overton window strictly on a format like this. Yeah, I, interviewed like, a, I, like, I, I interviewed a German Israeli. Uh, it's really, uh, and people should check that I interviewed a German Israeli. Well, one, person's, short, one person's opinion is not different. They're shutting down Jewish people in Germany who speak about Gaza. The point about arms, which we were talking about, is not destroyed the medical system of Gaza. That itself is a genocidal act. There's no functioning healthcare system. They just destroyed Al Shifa Hospital, the biggest hospital in Gaza. Now, well, you think, everything, was, you think everything's used by Hamas, so you, you can point oh, no, out no, 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 no. Now, now, we can't make glib questions like that. There are clearly there is Hamas in it's just, it's According disturbing. to every intelligence you know, organization, it, every in the world. single medical facility and hospital in Gaza has been attacked. That imposes a daily death sentence on everyone who has cancer, it's heart problems, really people who are pregnant, Pen okay. pregnant uh, women uh, 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 who are uh, uh, having. Uh, quickly, look at how ill-equipped these guys are to handle these facts. Owen is spitting. Look at him. Look, this is the face of being ashamed right here because he knows that Owen is one hundred percent factually correct, and this guy can't deal with it. What are you going to say? In they, they didn't take out every hospital. They took out 87% of them. <laughs> like, what are you going to say? What are you going to say in response to this? No, I need well, to have, have sorry, a response. These who are having their limbs amputated. We, we can see the devastation. Well, and I know you were, you, you're upset by some of the things that, 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 that Owen is saying there, but you would accept that the wholesale destruction of Gaza is causing immeasurable pain to the civilian population. It's now. causing Im unimaginable pain for Israelis, for myself, to see <laughs> that. <laughs> you would accept that the wholesale destruction of Gaza is calling immeasurable pain for Palestinians. He says it's calling. He says it's calling. It's causing immeasurable pain for Israelis. I am angry by every civilian casualty in Gaza. I am heartbroken. It's crazy that. I yeah, you really look like it. Yeah, you look like you're really torn up about those Palestinian babies being carpet bombed. That, I, that we have to get to this point. I mean, we don't want that. We didn't have that on October. I didn't want to bomb your babies. I had to do it. You left me no choice. So we pulled out of the Gaza Strip. There was no military control over the Gaza Strip. There were border oh like there is God. with Egypt. By the way, why isn't anyone asking why G Egypt isn't? Oh, uh, it's let every single Hasbar. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh. What am I going to do with these people? What am I going to do with these people? Pain for Israelis, for myself, to see that I am angry by every civilian casualty in Gaza. I am heartbroken. It's crazy that, I, that, I, that we have to get to this point. I mean, we don't want that. We didn't have that on October 6th. We pulled out of the Gaza Strip. There was no military control over the Gaza Strip. There were border, like there is with Egypt. You guys have now heard this talking point a thousand times. Bro, we pulled out of Gaza in 2005. You can't blame us for anything since then, bro. What they don't tell you is that... Before 2005, they had proper illegal settlements in Gaza. What they did is they pulled out of those illegal settlements, set up a perimeter, had a very militarized border, and turned it into an open-air prison. You can't come or leave when you want. They control the food, the fuel, the water, the electricity, everything that has to do with Gaza. And effectively, the point of doing that, you might say, well, Kyle, why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just stay settled? Is It was a divide-and-conquer strategy to separate... Gaza from the West Bank, and so you have Hamas ruling in Gaza and the Palestinian Authority ruling in the West Bank. And as long as you could keep them factionalized, as long as you could keep them fractured and apart from each other, you can't have a united Palestinian front to try to bring about a Palestinian state. So that was the whole point of that. They say it as if it was like, we're so altruistic and humanitarian, we just gave Gaza back. That's not true. But anyway, we could stop here, but he's just a fucking propaganda spewing talking point machine. Owen did a great job, but you're up against a hostile interviewer and certainly a hostile uh, opponent here. And it's amazing. You can't make like obvious points without them screaming at you and acting offended. It's pathetic. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.